Good afternoon, everyone. I am Tan Xin Bi. My name is Luo Hui Zhen. We are from the Faculty of Modern Languages and Communication, majoring in foreign language Mandarin. In this course, we learn many knowledge about languages, grammar, and also some culture. So today, we are going to introduce types of renowned ancient Chinese paintings. To complete this presentation, we refer to certain online sources such as Wikipedia and Baidu. So firstly, what is Chinese painting? It is one of the oldest continuous artistic traditions in the world. And it is also known as native painting. By native, it means the it means the Chinese people in China. And these Chinese paintings are painted using brush dipped in deep in black or colored in. And it is normally painted on paper and silk. And the finished work can be mounted on scrolls such as hanging scrolls or hand scrolls. Firstly, it is meticulous painting. It is also known as Gong Bi Hua in Mandarin. By Gong Bi, it means tidy and neat. So, here are some pictures for you to see. Meticulous painting. And it is also known as court style painting. It begins approximately 2,000 years ago, which it has a very long history. And the drawing is very highly detailed, is drawn by using very highly detailed brush strokes, so it delimits the details very precisely. And it will produce the appearance of the subject and enhance the figure. And as you can see in the examples just now, the paintings are all highly colored and the color are very vibrant. And it is usually mostly used to paint figure or narrative subjects such as human, plants and animals. And these refined paintings are normally only affordable by the royal families and the wealthy family. So it is only practiced by the artists who are working for the royal palace, royal court or independent workshops. So here are some famous artists who drawn this meticulous painting. First it is Yen Li Ben. Second one is Chang Xuan. Next Zhou Fang. And this one is the Emperor Hui Zhong of Song and Tang Yi, Chu Yi, and Chen Hong So. Now I would like to introduce you all about the ink and brush painting. For Chinese, we will call this as Shui Mo Hua, which Shui means water and Mo means ink. And this ink and wash painting is one of the most famous paintings which represent the arts of China. As we can see from this painting, um, the drawing is not that neat or clear compared with the meticulous painting which explained by Simbi just now. And you can see um, it's not tidy enough, but you can feel the soul and the liveliness of the leaves. So this is the purpose why the painter draw with ink and brush to make their painting more lively and a fragrance. Besides that, the painter, they sometimes they also like to add some poems as you can see on the top of the painting and the red color chalk is one of the significance of the painter and the black color words is some uh, poem or words 
which add into the painting which related with the paintings. The other name for the ink and wash painting is freehand style painting. Why we call this as freehand style is because of the unique way um, of the painting, which only using brush and ink to create the beautiful scenes. Um, this goal of using the ink and brush is not only to reproduce the appearance of the subject, but to capture its spirit. Um, and this ink and wash painting was begins approximately 1,500 years ago, and it was derived from the calligraphy. Calligraphy means the black ink um, wrapping which created by the past people in China and the, the method used for write the, writing the calligraphy and to paint the ink and wash painting is almost the same. So when the people they writing the calligraphy, they create the ink and wash painting at the same time. So um, when this ink and wash painting was first created, it is only painted by using the black ink. Uh, however, during the Tang Dynasty, there was a person named Wang Wei who invented the color ink. He added the color features into this ink and wash painting. So uh, he let the whole painting become more colorful. Besides that, the difference between the uh, meticulous uh, and this ink and wash painting is that the ink and wash painting doesn't delimit details precisely. Uh, moreover, we can normally see some towering mountains, uh, rolling hills, rivers, and peaceful scenes from the from this painting. And this type of paintings are commonly practiced by the gentleman who is uh, highly educated and not that rich enough because they like to uh, paint this type, this type of painting to spend their free time and it's one of their hobbies too. Now here is the list of the famous artists who drawn the ink and wash painting. The first one is Wang Wei, who I just mentioned. Um, he is the one who invented the color ink into this type of painting. And the second person is Huang Gongwang, continuing with Wu Zhen, Li Zhan, Wang Meng, Shen Zhou, Wen Zhengming, Tang Ying, and Zhou Chen. In conclusion, uh, Simbi and I have introduce you all about these two types of uh, ancient Chinese painting. So I believe that you all will gain more knowledge about the art culture, uh, about the painting culture in China. For the meticulous painting, it is more neat and clear and also vibrant at the same time. You can see the painting is very beautiful and um, very nice. Uh, meanwhile, for the ink and wash painting, it's more about freestyle painting, um, but it's more, it's full of soul, and it contains, uh, it, you can see the lightness and the fragrance of the art. So, um, the art of this Chinese culture is a very pre precious and unique art of China. So we hope that the younger generation will try to learn and protect this type of culture to make sure the future generation has the chance to uh, know and learn about this culture. So that's all from us. Thank you.